Hello and welcome. Um, I want to show today um, a call up that I'm using to um, create the structured data for a website that hosts podcasts. Uh, this is the website and um, this website has a very simple structure and it has like web pages and each web page is an intro to a podcast which is hosted on Spotify and Apple podcast. The web pages don't have very much very much details about the uh, the podcast itself, but what I want to do here is to create as much structured data as possible to give Google and other search engines all the information needed to enhance search results and provide uh, helpful results in SERP. So um, the collab works in this way. There is an introduction here where I explain more or less what I do. Um, this is what we need to create a knowledge graph out of uh, this website. Of course, a website with the list of podcast episodes, which is the one that we saw a few moments ago. We also need a Spotify show with podcast, uh, with podcast episodes. Why? Because uh, from Spotify, we can get all the additional details that we need, like the duration of a podcast and so forth. Um, the publication date, etc. Then um, this collab uh, that you can copy um, will try to match the episodes from the website with the uh, episodes in Spotify uh, by using their podcast name if this is not something that applies to your own specific website um, you can tweak the code to do the matching based on some other uh, parameters. Um, in order to connect to Spotify and get the, uh, uh, the data for the uh, podcast episodes, you will need a client ID and a client secret. This is very simple to do. You just open the developer area of uh, uh, Spotify and you can create an app here, give it a name and type whatever directory you write you, you want, it's not being used, select the web API, and then you will get your client ID and client secret that you will need to uh, save into the collab uh, secrets area. Um, and then you need, of course, a word lift knowledge graph. If you don't have one, just drop us an email and we will get you a knowledge graph and the associated key that you need to uh, used to create data into the knowledge graph and the key will need to be stored in this parameter here of the secrets. Okay, uh, the next thing uh, that we want to do is to create um, some, to configure some parameters. The first parameter is because the, um, the, um, the episodes are inside this folder I want to take only uh, the URLs that are inside this folder. This is the target language. This is where I can find the sitemap uh, file so that I can uh, find all the URLs. This is the on-page URL where we will, pu we will publish the uh, podcast series um, markup. Uh, we also need the Spotify show ID for the podcast and the Spotify market. You can find them here. This is the show ID. And uh, this is the WordLift API URL, which you're not going to change. Um, okay, so we can run this configuration here, so we can do it together. Then I will set up the environment. Um, so here I install the libraries. I'm using isoday to um, output the, um, the duration of the podcast episodes in the ISO format that's required for schema.org. I use, of course, RDFlib to manipulate um, the model data, Spotify to access the uh, uh, Spotify, Spotify uh, APIs, Trafilatura to parse the sitemap and extract the uh, web page data. And then these are the uh, Python clients for the WorldLift API. Right now they are hosted here. We're going to release soon a, a Python SDK. It's gonna be a little bit cleaner than, than it is right now here. So I'm go ahead and install these things. That will take a little while to install. Uh, while that installs, we can see what we're doing here. Here I'm creating some utility methods, like create dash string. And I use this one because I want to provide 
the, the, the WordLift knowledge graph is all about linked data. So every entity in the WordLift knowledge graph has an ID that can be accessed by other knowledge graphs and by clients. It can be uh, the reference set in different uh, uh, content types like HTML for humans or JSONMD for robots. So I want to create this URL in a nice way. So I take, usually I take the label and then I dash it so that it appears as a nice uh, ID later. We will see later the result. And then of course, add and remove trailing slash, which I use when I have to build this path so that I can combine the dataset URI with paths and uh, entity names. Um, WordLift related here, I'm wrapping the WordLift API. They are uh, async methods. Uh, the get account is used so that I can retrieve the dataset URI uh, for a knowledge graph given uh, a WordLift key. Um, analyze text if I want to extract um, entities from uh, the web page uh, text. Uh, I'm not using this one at the moment, but in the future it may be helpful to qualify better my content. Create or update entities is used to write a JSONLD into the, uh, the knowledge graph. And then Spotify related is the show episodes class is a utility class that I use to um, store all the uh, podcast episodes uh, from uh, uh, the show. And then I provide the utility method, which allows me to um, find uh, a show given uh, its name so that I can match the show from the website with the show in Spotify. And if your specific website doesn't have matching names, but you match by ID or anything else, then you can tweak this class to, uh, to, um, to find the corresponding episode in Spotify. Okay, let's create these methods. Then this is the uh, where I, where I create the, the 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 graph basically. So what I do here, um, I have two main methods here. One is to schema podcast episode, and the other one is to schema podcast. Uh, and um, the, this first one takes uh, a bunch of data, like the data set URI from uh, the WordLift uh, knowledge graph, the web page data, the Spotify episode data, the episode number and the podcast resource URI, that is this one, so that I can build um, the, uh, um, the entity of the podcast episode. And these are more or less the properties that I create, the author property, the, the first I create the resources here, so everything is linked. Uh, um, and then I create the type, I add the name, the director, the duration, episode number, access mode, any data that I deem relevant to, um, to the podcast episode. And then I do the same for the web page, for the home page, where I create the podcast series um, entity type. And we can see also here in the previous one that I connect the podcast with the podcast uh, series. Okay, let's define this one. And here is where all it, it all gets together. So what I'm doing here, I um, get the account, the, the knowledge graph data from WordLift. Uh, I get the episodes from uh, Spotify. I read the list of URLs from the sitemap. Then I create the podcast series um, markup and I publish it to the knowledge graph. And then for all the URLs that I find in the sitemap that are within uh, the path that I set before, I will get the URL, I will extract the web page data, and then I will find the, uh, the, the matching uh, podcast in Spotify. And if I find it, then I will create the, uh, uh, the model for the episode, and then I will uh, uh, update the data into um, the knowledge graph. So the result of this is, we can see it here, when it starts working, For example, okay, so this is um, <clears throat> an entity created for a podcast episode. This is um, the HTML representation. So you can see, first of all, that each entity in the WordLift graph has got its own uh, linked data ID. 
which is this one in this case um, this is imagine it's like a the dbpedia kind of representation now because i opened it with the browser it switched to html but otherwise here we have we have the different uh, um, rdf formats so we got like rdf xml json and or others um, Here we can see the, the, uh, the data, like for example, this is a sub resource with the uh, uh, URL for the audio, the, uh, the author, etc. And the nice thing here now is that this data can be extracted as JSON and D data that can be embedded in a website. We have an API for that, uh, and the API works uh, by using the URL, so it's easy to. Uh, um, to embed it in any web page and it, it's something like this and there we go so this is the uh, the structured data for this podcast we can actually load it in the validator and here we can see the structured data and we can see all the information we can see also the referenced entities, including part of a series, and so forth. Um, and so if I take the URL again, let's see how we embed it into uh, the web page. So this was the URL. So what we have here inside the website, I will show you a little bit of the source code here. We have a script, which is this script here. And this script here will work asynchronously. So it will not affect the performance of the web page. When the web page, when the web page loads, it will get the structured data uh, for this web page from the API that we saw before. So that now if I put this one into the validator, we can see the same structured data being embedded here. Okay, so this, this is pretty much the, uh, the full circle. Um, what's next here? Uh, for sure, something interesting here would be to run the uh, content analysis and extract entities to actually link it data so that if we are uh, if we have an episode with a specific person or about a specific topic or organization it would be actually nice to mark it up and of course google would start showing a knowledge panel for this stuff sooner or later and we will want to claim that knowledge panel and ensure that we can keep our branding clean and healthy in the, in the, in google so that's um, that's all and um, have a nice day.